Hey everybody, it's Rosie, and in this video, we are making beef pot roast in the crock pot, so let's get started. I have some roast here. This is actually a chuck roast that was actually inexpensive at my store, and I'm going to drizzle in some extra virgin olive oil. Now I'm going to start sprinkling in some Italian seasoning, and I love Italian seasoning on my roast. If you haven't tried this, definitely give it a try. It is so flavorful. Massage all of those herbs in using your hands, and now we're going to add some onion. I chopped up some yellow onion, you can use white, and now I'm going to start adding some celery and carrots that I chopped and froze previously. We're going to place all of these contents in a large freezer bag, and then we're going to freeze this meal until we are ready to cook it. This is a great freezer meal. So three days later, I took it out of my freezer and I let it defrost. And now I'm going to place all of the vegetables at the bottom of my crock pot. So make sure the vegetables go in first. So there it is, it still looks nice and fresh. By the way, you'll also need some beef cooking stock and some onion gravy mix. So our next step will be searing our roast. I'm going to sear each side, or all surfaces I should say, of the roast. And this is going to help lock in all of the natural juices so when it cooks for the many hours that it will be cooking in the slow cooker, our meat will not dry out. So do not skip out on the searing. Let's sprinkle in our onion gravy. And now we're going to pour in our cooking stock and all of the hard stuff is out of the way. So now you just need to place the lid on your crock pot, set it on high, and let it ride for about six hours. So don't forget for the complete measurements, it is available on my blog, iheartrecipes.com. So if you need it, come visit me there. Six hours has come and gone and our roast is ready to be served. Here is a close up and this is how beautiful your roast is going to look after six long hours. And I wanted to just show you exactly how tender the meat is. I mean, look at that. This is the perfect meal to make on the weekdays. I mean, you made your vegetables, you made your meat. All you have to do is make some potatoes, which don't take a whole lot of time, and your meal is ready to go. Look how tender the meat is. No knife needed, it just falls apart. I hope your family loves this recipe just as much as my family does. Definitely give this recipe a try. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And if you missed out on my previous video, I made big ziti with meat sauce. So go ahead, check it out. It is up and running. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe because I would love to keep in touch. And a special thank you to all of my current subscribers. I appreciate all of you. See you soon.